Among the features Autograph provides, one of them allows you to create new generators and modifiers using programming, more specifically a language based on GLSL. To do this, you simply add a shader toy generator. ShaderToy is a website with a large number of programs. The lines of code from these programs are converted for your graphics card through a process called compilation. You can then run these programs, known as shaders, to generate any type of image. By typing the keyword mountain, for example, we can access dozens of programs that generate mountain landscapes using only code. Not only are they dynamically generated, but the purpose of a shader is also to run in real time, most of the time. If we type the keyword clouds, we can see shaders from different types of clouds, whether they be 2D or 3D. Let's focus on this really cool, colorful cloud tunnel created by the digital artist Nimitz. Keep in mind that there are no external images used to generate this tunnel. It's generative art, created entirely from code, compiled and then passed over to your graphics card to generate this tunnel at up to 300 frames per second. You can use the mouse to rotate the tunnel by moving it from left to right or adjust its density by moving it up and down. Creating a new shader on the ShaderTor website will take you to a window containing a few basic lines of code that create this colorful animation that evolves over time. If we go into Autograph, and add a shader toy generator, we also have this gradient. Clicking on the generator's quick access button will display a small window in the properties panel containing the code that generates this animation. At the moment, Autograph doesn't have a dedicated code editor for shaders, and editing your code in this small window isn't really practical. That's why you can click on Use Source File to reference an external file that you can edit with the code editor of your choice. By using the default shader toy compatible mode, we can go back into the code of the cloud tunnel written by Nimitz, copy it, and then paste the code into Autograph's editing window. The shader will then be compiled and we'll see the render appear. We can see, however, that the render is brighter and less saturated. That's because it was originally written to be displayed in a web browser, where the color space is typically sRGB. Shader coders usually add a gamma conversion at the end of their code to make sure that the shader's output is displayed correctly for sRGB devices. But Autograph processes images in a 32-bit per channel linear color space, so the data from this shader is interpreted based on this color space. That's why there's a gamma correction button that directly lets you get the same rendering as in a web browser. The iMouse parameter lets you simulate the same interaction we had with the shader in the web browser where by moving the mouse from left to right, we were able to rotate the tunnel, and by moving the mouse up and down, we could change its density. Unlike Shader Toy, which uses the current time, in Autograph, it's the timeline that allows you to navigate through the tunnel. You can access all of Autograph's time remapping features, like the time offset, which lets you shift the animation in time, or go even further by using more advanced features like the speed multiplier, which in this case allows you to move inside the tunnel at five times the speed. The shader serves as a creative base that we can build on. By reducing the speed multiplier to 0.25, the movement in the tunnel will be four times slower, which will require the shader to calculate intermediate frames. It's also possible to control time evolution within the shader using time remapping. By enabling this option, we have direct access to the two keyframes defining linear time. By adding intermediate keyframes and working with tangents, it's possible to move forward in time and then back again when playing the shader. You can use the almost 50 interpolation types Autograph provides, like this elastic interpolation, which creates a back and forth movement between the past and the future. Before delving further into using Shader Toy in Autograph, let's take a look at another shader created by French digital artist Nusan. This tunnel is generated using a real-time path tracing algorithm that calculates all of the reflections. To interpret this code in Autograph, you simply need to copy it from Shader Toy and paste it into the editing window. You'll notice that the time remapping parameters we set up just before are still active for this new shader. 
Before exploring Shader Toy further with other videos, it's really important that we take a few seconds to talk about how we need to give credit to the code created by these amazing digital artists. Shader Toy is a platform that allows generative art specialists to create visual masterpieces through programming. The code, which is open source, enables any enthusiast to learn from these art pieces and create their own shaders. Our team at Left Angle integrated a shader toy generator into Autograph as we wanted to make it possible to use the creations of these artists in production. After coding on the shader toy website, it can often be challenging to retrieve the resulting images or use them in the compositing process. Just like with stock shots, when using Shader Toy shaders, you should make sure to pay close attention to the licenses, which are often mentioned right in the code header. We'd like to thank Nusan for letting us use their shader for demonstration purposes in this video, as well as in the upcoming videos where we'll combine this shader with additional modifiers before exporting it as a package to be able to use it just like other generators. If you're interested in learning more about the amazing world of shader coding, we highly recommend reading The Book of Shaders, which is available in multiple languages. The book goes over shader programming basics, including Shader Toy, and lets you explore different shaders, often with commentary from their authors. It's a great resource for learning all about this type of digital art while respecting the work of authors.